What's going on everybody? So today's video, this one here, this hasn't been done. I think it's been had maybe one video and it's been out for 11 years because this set was launched in 2009. And today, we're gonna be doing Bond number nines, Astor Plays. Stay tuned and watch. So as I said, this one really hasn't been touched upon because it's probably not the best sense. And I'm a fan of Bond number no. 9. I'm on this Bond kick right now. Bond number no. 9, Astro's Place, was launched in 2009. The classification, I'm not exactly sure, but this is certainly some sort of floral scent. Floral aromatic, floral citrus, floral floriental, if you want to call it, whatever. But before I give you my thoughts, Stephen from the channel Redolescence, why don't you give us yours? Hey ladies and gentlemen, my name is Steven and I have a YouTube channel called Red Lessons. and I know this isn't the first time that I've been on my good friend Chad's channel, but I do want to take the opportunity to say a very special thank you to my friend Chad. He's always open to having me collaborate with him on his channel and I really appreciate you sharing your platform with me. It really does mean a lot to me. Well, today I'm going to be taking a closer look at Astor Place by Bond Number no. 9 and I live in New Jersey so I'm actually not too far from Anne Manhattan, but I can't say I've ever been there. Um, I had a ton of bonbons and I've actually visited the flagship boutique on 9 Bond Street several times and um, I'm very happy that I've had a lot of really positive experiences and this one particular fragrance is one that I never committed to the purchase of a full bottle. And it's a fragrance that surprisingly my wife loves. So it kind of surprises me that I haven't purchased this fragrance because if I'm not going to get use out of it, I know for certain my wife definitely will. Now, what is it about this fragrance? It came out 11 years ago, so 2009 is the release date, and there's an IFF perfumer. IFF stands for International Flavors and Fragrances. They are the oil company. The perfumer's name is Laurent Le Guernac. I actually met him one year at a Sniffapalooza, incredibly friendly person, and he composed this particular fragrance. And this fragrance is a freesia dominant fragrance. And so if you're not familiar with the note of freesia, it can definitely have this very bright, strong, vibrant, floral overtone to it. And I know it's used in a lot of other classic women's fragrances. As a matter of fact, if you go online, some people have compared this fragrance to J'adore by Christian Dior. And I can certainly see that in the way that it kind of comes across smelling rather classy. I know there are some woods resting underneath. I know there's also a note of red poppy that's used in here. And I know there's a violet leaf note used in here as well. And what I can say regarding that violet leaf note, it's a very pleasant, smooth note, and it adds a really nice texture to the fragrance. Now, personally, I'm not a fan of a lot of those sharp, heady, um, bitter white florals. Um, doesn't necessarily have to be white, could be yellow. And a lot of those ingredients that I sort of think of whenever I think of that are freesia, narcissus, ylang ylang, frangipani to a certain extent, but I like the way that it kind of smells a bit exotic. And freesia is one of those ingredients that I never really got along with. I know there is a Michael Kors fragrance called Michael Kors for her that my wife used to wear all the time until her bottle ran out. I have to buy her a new one. And that is a fragrance that I never really enjoyed on her. And I've been very public about that on camera. And that one, if I'm not mistaken, is a freesia heavy fragrance. And this fragrance is no comparison. This one actually smells rather pleasant and I actually do enjoy this one. I would say, however, it does lean a little bit feminine, um, but I know there's a trend in men's fragrances where having a slight touch of floral is not totally off-putting. So I do think that there are gonna be a lot of people out there that would enjoy wearing and smelling this one, personally wearing it themselves. And so as a recommendation, and I say this all the time, definitely go out there and try the fragrance before you buy it. I would never recommend or suggest blind buying, but I do find this to be a very pleasant smell and I like how bright, natural and vibrant the floral ingredients smell in this one. Now, if you're not a fan of florals, you can definitely skip over this one. There are many, many other fragrances from the company Bond Number no. 9 that I think you will really enjoy. One of my favorites is New Harlem, if you're into something a little bit more on the sweet side. If you're into something a little bit more on the citrusy side, there's Eau de New York. But if you do want to experience some more floral-oriented fragrances, Definitely try a lot of their Central Park variations. Definitely try I Love New York from Mothers. 
please try Chinatown if you're looking for a really well done fruity floral fragrance. But Astor Place is a really enjoyable fragrance and I'm actually considering purchasing a bottle now. Uh, as I said, not necessarily for myself, not to say that I will never wear it, but I think that this is one that my wife would really enjoy. There's something about this that does smell formal. I can picture a woman in a really elegant dress wearing this one very comfortably and smelling fantastic in the process. And I do think that this is one that is catered more around this time of the year. So spring and summer, just because of the presence of these florals, which again, are not raunchy or indolic, they're actually really pleasant and very easy to get along with. So I know I kept it nice and short, but that was my take on Astor Place by Bond Number 9. Chad, once more, I want to thank you so much for having me be a part of your channel, for welcoming me on your channel, A Gentleman's Journey. It really does mean a lot to me. Thank you so much. And you know, I will extend that offer to you as well. Whenever you're interested in being on my channel, I'm always open to having a collaboration with you. I know it's a little bit tough. A lot of us are working from home now. And myself personally, I have a little kid running around tugging at my sleeves all the time. But um, whenever I do find the time to shoot these videos, you know that you are always welcome to be on my channel. So thanks everyone for watching. I hope you're all staying safe and well. We'll see you next time. Bye. Steven, thank you very much for doing the video. Really do appreciate it. Man, I really do miss you. 2020 is not a year for you and I and pretty much everybody in this world, but I will see you next year, all right? So bond number nine, Astro Place, as I said, was launched in 2009. The top notes of this one are Mandarin Orange and a Violet Leaf with the mid being Orris Fruit, Freesia and Red Poppy with the base being Amber, Musk and Teakwood. So what do I get out of this one here? So there's a lot of juice. I've been wearing this one for the last three days and I can't figure out anything else from this scent. What I get is I get an overabundance of white florals and perhaps violet leaf. I don't get the teak wood, I don't get the red poppy, I don't get the orris root, none of that. This scent is truly a white floral bomb. It, it's hard to, to pick out the other notes because the white florals in this is overabundance. Like, it's insane. This is considered a unisex? I don't think so. You know, some gentlemen out there will truly adore this one and there's nothing wrong with that. But to my nose, at first sniff, I was like, woo, for a unisex fragrance, this is heavily feminine. I would say that this is probably 98% feminine. But again, if you're one of those guys out there that likes to wear this one, there's no, nothing wrong with that. More power to you. Seasons, this is spring in a bottle. This is spring all the way and perhaps a cooler summer day. Longevity was fantastic. Off this, I got nine to 10 hours and projection was moderate to heavy depending on how many dabs I did. So less says more. This is an eau de parfum concentration so it is definitely going to last. And when it comes to the versatility, I would say that this is day to day casual and perhaps work. Wife's thoughts on this one? Wife does like it, but as I said, this is very feminine. And that's what she says. This is much more so suited for her than myself. Prices for this one on the official Bond site, this goes for anywhere from 230 to 350 USD. On the online discounters, I've seen this anywhere from 125 to 160 USD. So my final thoughts on bond number nine, Aster's Place, or Aster Place. Is this a bad fragrance? The answer is no. But this is certainly not for me. I'm not a big fan of these floral bonds. This is a solid fragrance if you like floral scents. This is not a unisex fragrance in my opinion. But on Fragrantica, it says unisex. Maybe on the Bond site, it's directed towards the women out there. I don't know. I did not see that. But if Bond does label this one as unisex, then wow. Because I don't see this at all. The longevity is fantastic. There is value to this one, especially if you get it online. Because I find that this is a little bit too expensive for what you're getting if you buy retail. The versatility, 
does its purpose, day to day casual and work. If you're a woman and you like this, I think that this would be a great uh, signature scent for you. It's more of a daytime fragrance, it's not really a night out scent. If, it, if, it, if you want to wear something night out, go with something a little bit deeper. This is a heavy hitter, but not enough for the evenings out. My rating out of 5 this is going to have to be a 2.5 out of 5. Just because I'm not, again, I'm not for these floral scents, it's way too feminine for my liking. But again, there is quality to this one. So guys, that is my take and Steven take on bot number nine, Aster Place. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, share the video, subscribe if you haven't. Steven's link will be down below. Steven, thank you once again for doing the video. Guys, that's it. We thank you for your time. Take care, and we will see you later. Thanks for watching.